Ladies and gentlemen, now time for the welterweight tournament final. Please welcome back to the ring, Nikki Holskin. Holskin making his way back to the ring. Again, he didn't even want to be a part of this tournament. He thought he's already the number one contender. He wanted a direct route to a man he's already defeated in Bazooka Joe Valtellini, but he must defeat Raymond Daniels in order to secure the title shot. Here now is his opponent, Raymond. So we are set for the welterweight contender tournament final. Raymond Daniels against Nikki Holskin. And the key here is not on this graph, it's the experience of Nikki Holskin. But is that gonna be a factor if he's that tired? The height, big deal. That means length. Daniels is gonna use those side kicks to keep Holskin at bay. Nikki has to close off the ring, get him into the trenches, and land that left hook to the body. Daniels so spirited tonight after that win against Oliveira. And he did it using techniques that most people don't use in international kickboxing. Linear techniques. Other than a front kick, most people, they use a roundhouse kick, and that's pretty much it. Holzkin looking at Daniels as he moves around the ring. Can Daniels keep the dance up for three rounds, though? That's the question. Talk about a styles clash. We are set for the Walterway Contender Tournament Final. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament final scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing in the black corner, he runs his glory record to a perfect 7-0. His professional record, 86 wins with 11 losses. At six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at 168 and one half pounds, 76.4 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of the Netherlands, here is Nikki the Natural Holskin. His opponent fights from the white corner, runs his record to 26 wins with just one loss. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 167 and one half pounds, 76 kilos, representing the United States of America. Please welcome back Raymond Real Deal Daniel. And your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. Step out, step out, step out, step out, you step out, you come here, come here, touch gloves, come here, touch gloves. That's the step. Right team, sir. Okay. step out. So will it be Raymond the Real Deal Daniels? Nikki, back up, please. Or Nikki the Natural Nikki, Holskin, who will challenge Joe Valtellini for the Glory Welterweight Championship. We're about to find out. Fight! Referee Chris Wagner calls for the bell. Quick touch of the gloves, Holskin in the black gloves. 
Daniels immediately flashed that jab with the white gloves and already going to the unorthodox kicking department, but he's smothered by Holskin, and they are swinging for the fences early. One with the kicks, the other with the punches. Holskin is forcing exactly the fight he needs. He needs Daniels up against the ropes to take by. Oh, oh the lead oh, shot oh. drops Daniels early. One, two, three, four, five. Stand up, six, seven. Come to me, Rem. Are you okay? Can you continue? Holskin's trademark left hook to the body has already reaped dividends and we are in the opening minute of the first round of this tournament final. Holskin trapped him up against the ropes and blasted him with that beautiful body punch. And there. blasts him with a right hand and another left hook. The kick blocked by Daniels up. Daniels on his back foot now delivering a knee from the clinch. And impressive body work continues from Holskin. Oh, good right hand by Holzgen. Holzgen walking down. Daniels has him pinned in the corner, battering to the body. Ducks underneath the right hand from Daniels, who utilizes his lateral movement. And I know the more he gets hit to the body, the, the slower he's going to be, but he flashes the jab. Daniels has to land something big, and he needs distance to do that. There's the need of the body by Daniels. Because once Nicky Holzgen gets in close like that, it's all Dutch kickboxing all the way. Combination through the guard by Daniels, forced to shell up along the ropes, and there Holzgen going downstairs with the outside low kick, chopping away at the leg and the knee up the middle, and now Daniels a this, rope from that. Daniels. Uh, is not going to win if he drops his hands like that. Well, he is challenging Holtzgren. He's frustrated, now coming for looping punches. Spinning back kick. Telegraphing them now. What a battle. Lead left hook by Holtzgren. Intercepted by a couple of punches that scored for Daniels. Daniels fighting back with straight punches. Knee blocked by Holtzgren. 30 seconds left in the first round. Ooh, right uppercut by Daniels. Backs up into the corner. Again, the left hook to the body. Holskin's head movement is, is so good. Great defense. And there, that right hand is on target. It was a slip, but Holskin did land a good low kick. Final 10 down. seconds of what has been a terrific start. For Nikki, the natural Holskin, rated number one coming into this tournament. <laughs> Nikki Holskin didn't waste any time and getting Daniels up against the ropes, blasting him with a straight right, and then there was that left hook to the body, and down Daniels went. Now, there was a little bit of monkey business there uh, after the bell. Holzkin coming in, and oh, I love it. It's right hand to the solar plexus, left hook to the body. Holzgen focused, can he keep that stalking approach up? Set for round at number two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fight. Fight Professor, how'd you score the opening three minutes? Oh, that was a 10-9, uh, a 10-8 round for Nicky Holzgen. Got the knockdown, and he was basically dominating, but the last half, Daniel started to stage a little bit of a comeback. So I'm not ruling that Daniels is all going to be out of this fight. Holston continues to walk down Daniels. Daniels tries to keep him at bay with the jab and then gets kicked low by Holston outside. Low kicks and Daniels backing up into the corner. See, Daniels is losing that momentum of dancing around out of the way, and once he gets in the corner like this, he's going to get, cho gonna get chopped yeah. up like this. And the punches, I thought it was the low kicks that were going to take their toll. The punches bring Daniels to one knee again, the second knockdown in this final. Six, The fatigue 
okay. and the Come punches are, you okay? are causing Raymond Daniels' Fight. body to fail him. And now in the final, we revert back to the normal glory rules. Three knockdowns in a round, or four total in the final. The fight will be stopped. That's the second knockdown for Nikki Holskin, who gets hit with a couple of punches through the guard as Daniels goes on his bike, lateral movement, but finds himself pinned in the corner again where he does not want to be and fights no. out. No. Knee to the body by Daniels. He's Desperate times for the real deal. Raymond, right here, give me a close, man. But Because once a guy's in your face like that, you can't throw a side kick or a back kick. And that's the bread and butter for Raymond Daniels. And with that Dutch style kickboxing, you might not be able to throw any kicks with the damage your own take as he continues to be barrage on the knee. Drops him to a knee. Nikki Holskin. Thinks he's won it, but the referee administering the count. A little premature the celebration for Holskin, but one more knockdown. The fight is over. Doesn't look good if Daniels can't get out of that corner and do something at long range. He's finished. Final minute of the second. Jumping knee by Daniels. Holskin avoids that spinning heel kick. And answers with a low kick. And going to work just peppering him with shots to the body, to the head. Clinched by Daniels. Left hook to the body by Holskin, who's putting on a clinic. There's a right hand to the body by Daniels. Just trying to survive the final 30 seconds of the second round. So much going on in this fight. And all of it about Nicky Holskin. As he goes over the top of that left hook to the head. And with Holskin, it's not the style that's winning the fight. It's him that's winning the fight. So composed, so technical. Everything delivered with bad intentions like that left hook to the Ten body. Seconds. And again, Daniels finds himself where he doesn't want to be in the corner. It's cost him throughout the fight. We continue when we come back with the third round. Nikki Holskin continued to stalk Daniels and land that hook and low Last kick round. with regularity. Daniels just got blasted out of there that time. He had to go down. Go, Too many punches. Out. Had to take Let's a knee. Go. Come here. Here's Touch the second gloves. knockdown. Go back Beautiful jump back knee back from the outside back up, back up. by Nikki back Holskin. Let's go. Fight. The bell, the third and final round. It's been all Nikki the Natural Holskin with a total of three knockdowns. One more, this fight is over. Daniels went viral with that ostentatious kick against Francois Ombang the last time he was here in glory. He's going to need a comeback that goes viral tonight. Jump back, kick and lands, <laughs> and down two, goes Holskin. Right on cue, five, ball. Right on six, cue. Real seven. deal saying, hey, I'm not out of this yet. He's going to need another one of those because th that's kind of shot with an end of fight. It's got to be the back kick or the jump back kick or the spinning heel kick. But he's, if, if he gets Nicky on top of him up against the ropes, it ain't going to happen. And again, he puts himself in that corner. Danger zone. And Holskin keeping them there now. Daniels has to be very careful in what he does offensively because if he walks into something, one more knockdown, this fight's over. Faint, followed by the combination from Daniels. Two minutes left in the fight. There's a spinning back kick to the midsection. Holskin just letting Daniels go on the attack and maybe baiting him. Yeah, just right. allowing them to expend that energy before pinning him in the corner and going to work again. A knee up the middle by Holskin. Wow. And the right and That's down it. That's goes. It. Daniels and Nikki, the natural Holskin, wins his second welterweight tournament. And he solidifies his standing as the number one ranked welterweight. And he has just secured a date with Bazooka Joe Valtellini for the Glory Welterweight Championship, improving to 8-0 and oh in glory. And don't forget, he already holds a win over the champion.
Can't wait for that fight. We'll be back with the official announcement. You're watching Glory 19. Celebration for Nikki the Natural Holskin. Didn't want to be in this tournament, Stephen. He felt, hey, wait a minute, I'm already the number one welterweight. I beat the guy who holds the title, Bazooka Joe Valtellini, beating Mark Devon in what was a contentious decision last year. Of course, Holskin was rehabbing his left shoulder, comes here tonight, defeats the tough Alexander Stetsarenko, and then drops and stops. Raymond, the real deal, Daniels. Well, if there was any question about that shoulder, it was answered tonight in both of these fights. The first fight was probably closer than I expected against Stetsarenko, but this fight right here, it's like he came out of a shell and just jumped on Daniels, and that's exactly what he needed to do from the very beginning. How this ended was Holzgen walking through side kicks and Raymond Daniels with a last minute flurry, jump back kick. Then Holzgen got him in close, exactly where Raymond Daniels did not want to be. Big knee up the middle, and behind the ear punch, right hook, down he went. And who was watching at ringside, Iron Mike Tyson, was thinking, hell, what the, man, that guy's tough. I'm glad I'm not in there, or maybe, these guys are small, maybe, maybe I still got it. It might not put Baby in the corner, but Holzgen put Daniels in the corner and made him pay. Nicky Holzgen. Improves to 8-0 and oh with his fifth win via form of knockout under the Glory banner. And next stop, the Glory Welterweight Championship fight. And what a fight it should be. Their, their first meeting between Holskin with the shoulder injury and, of course, with uh, Val Valtellini in Japan. And what was the final of a tournament there? Imagine what it's going to be like with one five-round fight. Both going to be fresh. Holskin's coming in with a huge amount of momentum having beaten two really tough guys here. Updating the glory rankings in the welterweight division. Holzgen solidifies his standing as number one. You see Stetsarenko has moved up to number three. Daniels at number six. Oliveira, who Daniels beat in the first semifinal, is at number seven. And of course, the champion, Joseph Valtellini of Canada. He'll begin to scout his nemesis. A lot of trash talking going on between these two guys in the media leading up to this tournament. I think it's alpha male stuff because when you're that good and a guy comes up that can challenge you, that may be able to beat you, then you're going to go off in the media and with a smack talk. Right. So here at the Hampton Coliseum in Virginia, the welterweight contender tournament is in the books. And as expected, the pre-tournament favorite, number one ranked Nikki Holskin delivers. Let's look at the strike stats. Yeah, Nikki Holskin uh, is about that punch. You know, Raymond Daniels did fire back, but he couldn't do the damage. That's the thing, Nikki Holskin being a professional boxer, he knows how to hurt that body just like this. Daniels came in with the jump back kicks and tried to land the spinning heel kick. Holskin jumping right on him, pinning him up against the ropes and that left hook to the body. Again, once Daniels was on the ropes, he was out of his element. He didn't have the boxing acumen or defensive ability to keep away from getting knocked down like that. Holskin's too savvy in close like this. Probably for anybody in the world, I'm sure Joseph Valtellini doesn't agree with that. Here we have the fourth knockdown. Holskin stalking again, setting up the huge flying knee from the outside, and that did it. Holskin trying to walk through anything that Daniels can throw and being successful in doing that. Getting him in the worst case scenario, worst possible position, and then blasting him out of there with a big overhand right. Nikki Holzkin takes the tournament in a very dramatic fashion with a four knockdown TKO over Raymond Daniels. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Chris Wagner calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of that third round by way of the maximum knockout rule. And your winner and now tournament contender, Nikki Holskin. Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy is Glory CEO, John Franklin. Great sign of sportsmanship, and how special is this for Mickey Holskin, about to receive the Ramon Deckers Memorial Trophy. When he was 22 years of age, Holskin left his hometown, moved to Breda, South Netherlands, so he could train with Deckers at the world-famous Golden Glory Gym. And of course, we are all saddened by the passing of Ramon Deckers in 2013 at the young age of 43. And earlier this week, another man instrumental in Golden Glory success, Ron Nykvist.